Welcome to Louisiana Gardening Family. Today we're talking about tomato deficiencies. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, what we're thinking about today is calcium that your tomato plant needs in order to survive the crazed blossom in rot, right? So that most tomato plants get. Instead of crushing them in our hand, like so, we've decided to bring out some blenders Mm -mm. which would allow us to liquefy them very fast and that way not liquefy but pulverize them very very fast which would allow us mm -hmm. to break it down more uh, so that the tomato plant can have access to it uh, even faster if you leave it in bigger pieces then it'll take longer to break down uh, but if you use a blender what it will be quick it'll be quicker. So let's get to that. I'll win. Mine's is the best. Uh, Beverly has the blender with the two, two blades on it. So uh, it doesn't matter. This is a very old blender that I've been keeping specifically for this reason. And this is one that we kind of was using when we were juicing like watermelons. So let's get started on this. Real quick video. And we're still along the line of preventing those diseases in your uh, plant or preventing those deficiencies that your plant may have or may be prone to actually before you actually start to see it. Uh, if you notice that your tomatoes have blossom in rot on them, you're probably already too late. But by doing this early in the planting season, you'll have a better chance. Let's go. So, That's and you can stuff. see how it looks in there, and it's broken up real, real, real fine. It's gonna be great. So let's look at hers. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that. So, this, on. yeah, this not so fine, but run it a little longer, I'm sure it'll work. Let's see. I'll start adding mine. That's all right. I think that's good enough. That's Ooh. better. So we're in like chemistry class out here. Mine is to get a little. Yeah. And so we've taken it and basically just, just mix it into the top of the soil. You can go in a little deeper. So that's putting your calcium in early in the planting season. And you can see this plant hasn't even started flowering or anything yet. I see some little bit of flower but it's not uh, right here, but it's not really coming out as strong. And I'll take the rest and we'll just add it to whatever we have. 
<laughs> you may want to put that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> My blender working better. So I'll let her water it in while I finish this off. Basically, that's it. So, catch y'all on the next one. Don't forget, if you raise chicken, save your, save your eggshells. Boil them. Crush them up. Wash it up. We bake them. She bake baked them. them a little bit just to dry them out. Get get the rest of that little, whatever that is, the rest of the egg off of them. Wash them. Uh, she, I think she did wash them a little bit. So, she kind of like rinsed them out, baked them. And all we want is the calcium, which the eggshell is should be like almost 100% calcium. Uh, so, no more blossom and rot. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Grow, grow, grow. grow, grow, grow. See ya. Mm -hmm.